ঠিকছে <laughs> একটা কোয়েশ্চেন করি অ্যাজ এ মেমোরি জগ ওকে নাও আই গোনা গিভ ইউ হার্ড কোয়েশ্চেন কঠিন হবে কিছানি বলে So there is a mathematical year to it. Let us just short it. The, the bits which aren't so important. For it, it gets a little tricky. So, basically, mathematically, the arc is R theta. And is R theta is equal to 2 pi R. So, it can take theta is equal to 2 pi. And it's a circumference. Clear? Easy stuff. I'm going to give this one. Okay, here is the interesting one. The tech to trick, yes. So, an elastic cord of an unextended length of 13 centimeters. One end of the cord is attached to a fixed point C. A small mass of weight, 5 newtons, is hung from the free end of the cord. The cord extends to a length of 14.8 centimeters, as shown in figure 1.1. So, you can blah, 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 blah. The cord and mass are now made to rotate at a constant angular speed, omega. In a vertical plane about point C. I mean, it's a term of like a vertical circle. It's a good circle. When the cord is vertical at and above C, the length is unextended of 13 centimeters. Good job. I mean, we can say, I'm not When does the material extend? Johan, there's a force or a tension acting through it. So, I can say, I would say, is when that cable is at the highest point. There is no extension. So, no extension money hoche, there there is is no force at that point. So, and money with this is the centripetal force is the weight of the mass or basically 5 Newton's weight. So, hoche, uh, next calculate. So, the length of is the unextended length of 13 centimeters. So, 5 Newtons causes an extension of how much? 1.8 centimeters. Is that clear to everyone? This is not, when at the lowest point, it's not 14.8. It's going to be more than 14.8. Karan, centripetal forces. So that the angular speed omega is 8.7. So what do you do? You take the force to be 5 Newtons. Karan is the highest point of no extension. So the weight is equal to the force. And then we can think you calculate what you do. Clear? Sir, could you show the calculation? How do you show the weight? 5 newton 5 newton and tumara centripetal force er equation ki resultant force is equal to weight minus tension oh what's the equation for centripetal force centripetal force is no m v m r omega square m r omega square is equal to 5 bachho na then then you solve for omega Sir, radius 13 radius 13 point 8 13 13 13 13 highest point is 13 lowest point is 13 does that make sense so i'm going to both the page highest point is tension zero yeah it is zero highest point it is highest point is zero can no karan the string is not extended no extension hoche na But uh, length, uh, yeah, when the coil cord is vertical above C, the length is unextended, is the unextended length of 13 centimeters. So, Shetar, original length is yes. Good, sir. Sir, centripetal force equals to weight, can you? Because what I just said, at the highest point, the cable is not extended. So, because the cable is not extended, the only force acting is the weight of the stone. And extend Nahwar Karun Eitai, Yeah, there is no need for any additional force. The weight of the stone is sufficient to cause centripetal force. It is exactly equal to the centripetal force.
course if it was more the the cable would be extended if it was less the it would fall 13 cm is a thought so ekhane tumi f f is equal to mr omega square f was over 5 newtons m with the sir 5 divided by 9.81 radius which is 13 cm r you solve for omega tarpor you just calculate and find the value of omega tarpor ei je ei ta ekta shomoy niye chinta korte hobe the cord and mass rotate so that the cord is vertically below c as shown in this calculate the l length l of the cord assuming it obeys hooke's law so এখানে তোমার লেন্থটা বেসিক্যালি কি হচ্ছে তোমার এখান থেকে সেন্ট্রাল ফোর্স এর ক্যালকুলেশনটা লাগবে রাইট হোয়াট আর দ্য ফোর্স ইজ অ্যাক্টিং অ্যাট দ্য লোয়েস্ট পয়েন্ট ইজ দ্য ওয়েট অফ দ্য স্টোন হুইচ ইজ 5 নিউটন প্লাস অলসো হচ্ছে তোমার ইয়েটা হবে নাম কি জানি সেন্ট্রাল ফোর্সটা হবে সো উই নো হাউ মাচ ওমেগা ইজ তাই না यस ওকে ওমেগা তোমাদের আসছে না ওই ভ্যালুটা যেটা ওরা বলছে 8.7 8.7 সো ওমেগা আসবে 8.7 যেটা তোমার प्रीवियस ইয়ারতে আছে সো ফার্স্ট এ What is the tension in the cable? Eta shobai lekho. Make it make it a practice. They give you marks for just writing equations. Thik hai sir? So what's going to be the tension in the cable? Is going to be the weight of the stone plus the centripetal force. Now turn that into an equation. So again let's think a little bit. Hooke's law ta koi ashbe. Where do you think Hooke's law comes in relevant? Which equation do you think you'd be using here? F is in okay. kx, right? So first to find the value of k কে ভ্যালু বের করবা কেমনে এই যে এইখান থেকে ওরা সব ডিটেইল দিয়ে দিয়েছে 14.85 নিউটন সো দ্যাট বেসিক্যালি मींस 1.8 সেন্টিমিটার ওয়াজ বাই 5 নিউটন সো এইখান থেকে তুমি কে ভ্যালু বের করতে f is equal to kx f is equal to kx এর মধ্যে যেটা দরকার তুমি ইউ সাবস্টিটিউট দিস অন দ্য টেনশন সাইড অর দ্য ফোর্স সাইড সো f is equal to kx সো বেসিক্যালি kx is equal to kx is equal to তোমার weight which is 5 newtons plus mr omega square it's, it's 1.8 when it's just hanging without any additional oh, okay. so eta hobe the extension here is going to be l minus 13 the extension is going to be l minus 13 so amra ki bolte si f is equal to kx so kx bosha chhe k hoyte sir 5 by 5 divided by 1.8 into the extension it is l minus 13 তোমার টেনশন ইন দ্য কেবল এর ইকুয়েশন ইজ इक्वल टू द राइट हैंड साइड राइट हैंड साइड তাহলে কি লিখে কি হয়ে যাবে ইজ গোনা বি বেসিক্যালি দ্য ওয়েট হুইচ ইজ 5 প্লাস এম আর ওমেগা স্কয়ার এম ইজ গোনা বি 5 ডিভাইডেড বাই 9.81 আর ইজ গোনা বি এল দ্য রেডিয়াস এন্ড ওমেগা স্কয়ার হইতো সে যেটা মাত্র ক্যালকুলেট করলা 8.7 স্কয়ার ওয়াজ দ্য आंसर ভেরি গুড দ্য आंसर ইজ 17.2 মার্বলে it's falling do it actually you fall korte se but because uh, in relation to each other it will seem like as if this marble is just a put this one that's it so what i'm saying is a same jinish ta amra ei paper e jodi kore what i'm saying is je ei rokom fall korte se what you i ta ei rokom fall korte se so we could also recreate that situation just by ei rokom dhore letting one of them roll and then pull the paper down So what would you see that because the paper is moving this which is actually moving along a straight line would actually appear to be moving along a curve money from my perspective it's going along a curve because the paper's from this this marble's perspective is going along a straight line just shoot out the gap so the purple paper is moving at the movement of karone মনে হচ্ছে যে দিস ইজ মুভিং টুয়ার্ডস অর মুভিং অ্যালং এ স্ট্রেট লাইন সো হোয়াট গ্র্যাভিটি ডাজ ইজ ইট ডাজন্ট অ্যাট্রাক্ট থিংস রাইট হোয়াট ইট ডাজ ইজ ইট পুলস স্পেস টুয়ার্ডস ইট ওভার টাইম ডাজ দ্যাট মেক সেন্স ইয়েস ইটস লাইক ওয়ান অফ দা কমন एग्जांपल्स আই উড সে ইজ ইমেজিন তুমি একটা সিঙ্কের মধ্যে পানি পড়লো দ্য সিঙ্ক ইজ ফুল অফ ওয়াটার and then the moment you think about it you have to take a second so say you have 
such a thing. Okay, so basically, uh, when you it's like when you open the tap huh, or open the sink, basically plug it up. When the water gets pulled in, there's no if there's a little boat here. Take us say there's a little little uh, toy boat. Okay, this boat starts getting pulled in. It, as the water gets pulled in, the boat gets pulled in with it, right? So if you're if you're another boat here, if you're on another boat here, you wouldn't see this being pulled in. You'd just be both going along a line, along a straight line. But someone who's standing on the edge, they would see this being pulled in, and they'd be like, the sink is pulling on the boat towards the center. But is there an actual force pulling it towards the center? No. It's basically the the fabric of the material, the fabric or basically the the water in the sink is moving in a way which makes it look like it's falling towards the center of the sink. That's exactly what gravity does to a mass at the center of this. Are we clear? So gravity pulls space. It pulls it pulls space and it constantly pulls it over time. It's like the sink which is pulling in the water, it absorbs what yeah does, a mass does, it pulls space around it over time and it okay, basically absorbs it. It takes it in a, in, in a very simplistic manner, not exactly, but that's the idea. That's why when you put something here in space, it moves towards the planet because the space-time is being put towards it. Does that make sense? This is why actually, yeah. equations like F is equal to G M1 M2 by R square, which is basically uh, masses of the two planets or masses is M, M1 M2 so the force with which it's going to be pulled, G is a constant. So M1, M2 by R squared. But in reality, uh, gravity is not a force actually. It's a bending of space-time due to mass. Sir, question sir. Yes. Sir, if gravity is pulling things closer, then how is the universe expanding? Well, the universe expands for space-time, space can stretch. Because space itself as a material can stretch and that's why you can have uh, things being pulled so near gravitational masses things are falling towards each other but space is just empty space so it's a little part so there is a very small we could say demonstration that i've kept for today so this is basically something that uh, you'll, you'll find a video similar to this on YouTube and it's a really nice explanation of what space time is and it's something that the team also likes so yeah so this fabric so this fabric here it represents you could say space so with nothing in space you basically have this sort of uniform space fabric because the moment you put a mass in it, it causes a dent or basically a deformation in space. Now, deformation it actually depends on how heavy this is. It a half mass type deformation as a bump as a but nothing significant. If you put something aromatic, then it causes a large dent in space. Yes. Does this make sense? Yes, sir. So this is how the absence or presence of matter or mass to be specific may deform the, the, the space around it. And it is important keno is because it explains the concept of gravity really nicely. And by that what I mean is, say for example, mass and you you have another mass like marbles and you just throw them. The reason it moves in a certain manner is because of how the space-time fabric around it is deformed. 
and because this deformation it follows a very specific path and a path ta pretty much depends on how much mass is at the center so ami eta ke jokhon chhatasi i am releasing it along a straight line so to its perspective it's moving along a straight line but because space around it is deformed what happens is to our perspective it's orbiting the mass of the center আর এই ক্ষেত্রে ওয়াটার ড্রপস কি করবে? ইট ইজ আস্কিং মার্বলস এর জায়গায় ওয়াটার ড্রপস থাকলে কি হতো? তো ইফ ইউ থ্রো ইট উইথ দ্য ভেলোসিটি হরিজন্টাল ভেলোসিটি ইট উইল ড্রোল এন্ড গো আর এটা যদি ইফ ইউ ড্রপ ইট লাইক দিস ইট গো স্ট্রেট দ্য ওয়ে ইফ ইউ ড্রপ আ ম্যাস ইফ ইউ হ্যাভ আ ম্যাস ইন স্পেস এন্ড ইফ ইট গোস নিয়ার আ প্ল্যানেট তাহলে ওটাকে অরবিট করে বা কার্ভ করে যায় এন্ড ইফ ইট ইজ গোইং ইফ ইট স্টেশনারি ইট গেটস অ্যাট্রাক্টেড ডিউ টু গ্র্যাভিটি গ্র্যাভিটি টেন ওকে নিউ Uh, sir is this why our planet orbits around the sun yeah and the it's moon orbits around our planet yeah it's basically the sun makes this huge dent in space time and the planet earth feels like it's moving along a straight line in a constant velocity there's no force acting on it in that perspective so we just straight line to it so because space is curved it appears to us to be going around the sun it's like saying you take a piece of paper and you draw a straight line on it and then you roll the paper if you roll the paper you did draw a straight line but because the paper itself is now rolled the line becomes a circle so the reason i'm telling you about it it's because even though it's not in your syllabus it, i think it's important that you actually understand the true nature of how uh, space time behaves and uh, you need to know this because atko hota bhai it's not relevant but 5 years 10 years down the road especially if you study anything along the lines of engineering Age of Ganesh will be presented to you differently. So it takes a general level. All of that being said, um, uh, I think it's important that uh, um, knowing that our A level physics is not. You don't need to know it like this. A level physics, is, you just learn it in the simple manner. That our A level is fixed. The gravitational force, gravity is not a force. A con. So it has that's the hobby over time. The power for it. Got two questions. Reality is. perspective to the observer yeah that everything in physics and also quantum physics and everything it's all about the observer's perspective so tale earth earth sun er sathe lege jay na keno it would if the earth was stationary but that is not not experiencing a force and not being stationary are two different things it's moving uh, at a constant speed and because it's moving constantly orbiting if the earth was to stop its circular path tala hai to point is amar sathe sathe it would accelerate and fall towards the center does that make sense yes sir now other boile tarpor next class we can go into gravitational fields we can talk about it in a little more detail how to do are we clear and we get our marble jiggle of the gravity get trampoline thank you now it's like a tire to put up all these it's actually a tractor tire yeah Where did you find the tractor tire? Oh, our, 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 So next class I'll be teaching you gravity the way it's not supposed to be learned. Just ready for that. Okay then. Bye bye. Take care.